guys. Today we're actually going to go out to a nursery and a family farm to look at their holiday stuff. wine glass. Yeah, this one's lit up too. Mm -hmm. I think they all light up. Ooh. But there is a little gingerbread house. And that looks like your ribbon candy you got last year. I know, isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Mm, that's a wreath. I'm looking for trees. Grandma needs him. Oh, that's cute too. Look at that one. Oh, he's pretty. With it like swooshed. That's pretty. That's so pretty. So, so pretty. I mean, the this is pretty. The marble. It's beautiful. It's yep. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so here's the dealio. We were gonna get a Christmas tree tomorrow. It was supposed to be dry. We were gonna go out and like cut a Christmas tree to get a real one this year. And now it's supposed to pour tomorrow, so we're like, okay, maybe we could find a lot or something. And like, there's no Christmas tree lots. And then the stores that have them, they are like double and triple the price of the other, like cut your own Christmas tree down ones, which are like local farm sites. Like you'd rather support that. We uh, can't find anything right now. We just drove and buy a Christmas tree lot. And we're gonna like see how much their thing say. It's the first one you've seen this whole year because there's just not lots out. Is, is that a COVID thing? Is that like a people don't do that anymore thing? I have no idea, but it's been an adventure that was supposed to happen tomorrow, but now we're wondering if it's gonna be too soggy. Literally one of the farms that was a cut, you cut one was like, prepare to get muddy on their listing. I don't wanna get muddy. I don't want to. I already did that for the pumpkin patch. All right, just kidding, that was awkward as fuck because not only did the people follow us around, like, what are we gonna steal a Christmas tree? You don't think you'll notice someone running through the parking lot with a Christmas tree? No, they were really nice, but it's just like my anxiety. I'm like, let me live, let me be. That place was even more expensive than what we previously looked at. <laughs> we were just talking about it. Like, we don't know if it's like, because of the heat wave that we had, um, because of the ice storm we had, if it's because of COVID, but we're looking for like a noble tree and like they're super expensive. And we also haven't bought a real Christmas tree in years. So this sticker sh shock is like hitting us hard with how much it is. And it's not like you can reuse it because at the end of the year, it becomes firewood. <laughs> 
Hello lovelies, welcome to the 4th of December. I'm just sitting here in semi-darkness, <laughs> drinking some coffee. Um, I haven't really been up to much at all today. I kind of had a really busy day yesterday, so I got slept in and that stuff, but <laughs> I have some edits to do later on. Um, I think we might do the tree tonight, maybe. We'll see what we do for our advent t event today. And then I'm thinking about doing another cosplay tonight, which involves setting up kind of like a like a set type thing that I have the have this vision for it. <laughs> but um, we'll see. Uh, I posted my Elvira Christmas cosplay today. A couple people guessed her, um, but not as many. Uh, she was super fun to do like a Christmas Elvira cosplay bit. And there's going to be an ASMR video coming soon for that too. So that is what I'm up to right now. He woke up and decided to be festive today. Don't you, sweetie pie? And his brother says hi too. Least favorite part of decorating is when you have to put everything back in the attic. Another news, Dominic the Donkey is playing, <laughs> which is such a random Christmas song to me, but I guess it's really popular with my Italian subscribers. <laughs> so shout out to you guys. Da 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 da. Do you like my singing? Yeah. I'm helping keep things festive. Yes. Okay, so sorry, we're in the attic, so it's a little dark, but this is the first ever Christmas gift I received. My mom was given this when she was pregnant with me, so I was still cooking in the oven, but look at how well this is held up. This is going on 30 years old. All right, welcome to the fourth. Today, we're doing some decorating trees. Yes, multiple trees we are decorating. So clearly the tree is up behind me and we've made some of our ornaments, but we actually have a couple more that we need to make before we can start decorating the tree. So we're gonna get that going and then, you know, start to do this tree and then there's like two other trees. <laughs> Here we have the potential selection of cookie cutters for our homemade ornaments, some holly, circle, and moon, snowflake, stars, and hearts to go with our like nature-y Yule vibe. Some mashed potatoes time. Just kidding, don't eat it, it's not mashed potatoes. Here we have some decorative cinnamon with some pretty tree bits from the yard. We're gonna smell really good. Okay, so while my other ornaments for my main tree are like setting up and we're still doing them, I am doing the black tree with a little bit of purple lights. This is for my Nightmare Before Christmas tree that I wanted to do on my black tree this year.
laundry done. Just kidding, she told me that my office one's done too. So two trees done. Okay, we're gonna put the little Nightmare Before Christmas Funkos next to the Jack tree. Here we have another tree done. This is the kitchen tree. And it's got all of the foods and candies like we did last year. I love it. It's got a lot of different stuff. You got hot chocolate, you got some Starbucks, I mean, blueberries, candy canes, fruits, vegetables, there's some peppers. Here's some gingerbread peoples, there's a cupcake. I mean, really, there's a bunch of different stuff. I mean, broccoli, so many different cool pieces for the kitchen food tree. Another one done. Look at actual popcorn on the tree. Mom, how long did you just spend stringing this popcorn? Two hours. Two hours. It looks really cool though. Gotta get the rest of the stuff on there. The citrus items turned out very nice. I like how they dried. Um, this is the first time we've done this. The oranges look really good. The limes got, a, some of them got dark, some of them are okay. So I think in the future if I do this, the limes and some of the smaller things will go for a smaller amount of time than the oranges, but the oranges turned out like exactly how we are wanting. They look really pretty and they smell good. Okay, so our first bit of the wooden ones that we did. Cinnamon stick bundles. Rosemary wreaths. The little balls of herbs and plants that we did. This one right here, one of my favorites, the holly in it. And then some of the oranges look super cool with the light glowing through them. I like that. Little bottle with some lavender. I come in my office to do some work and Something is not the same on my computer. I wonder who the culprit is, mother. Hey lovelies, today we, the fifth, we are continuing some decor in the house and we did the trees and now we're just doing some more decorate inside for the holiday season. Hi kitty. Hey, so here's the little picture of the stuffed animal I showed you from my attic. So this is my first Christmas, so this is obviously a year later. My mom got it when she was pregnant with me, and then this is my first Christmas. But see, look it! It looks the freaking same! Hope that company stayed in business. Your tongue is sticking out of your mouth. Hey! Do you need some food? It smells like cinnamon! I don't know why! I don't know how I like these ones. They've set for over 24 hours, which is what they were supposed to set for. And they're still falling apart kind of when we're trying to put the hooks on them. So I don't know, some of them maybe will be okay. But then we also have these over here that literally crumbled and died. So we'll see. This one just broke my heart because it was such a pretty snowflake and it just cracked. All right, well. Shit. Oh, Did it break? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Damn it. All right, so we voted that the recipe that we used on these is just not working for us. We followed it exactly and we let it sit for actually over 24 hours. It recommended 12 hours this way and then you flip it another 12 hours and we let it sit longer. But when we're trying to put them on the tree, they're just crumbling apart. So I don't know. 
My mom said that she remembers making these type of ornaments when I was a kid, so it's weird that they're not working. Maybe it's just the recipe. We'll see. We have a different type in the oven right now, so we'll see if those do better. They felt better than these, so we'll see. But the tree's still looking really good. I mean, the tree is still looking so nice. So. All right, so these are like the cinnamon ones that we did. Now, they turned out better, and some of these we could hang, but they're not perfect. We had some tragedies, so I don't know. We got the recipes like off Pinterest, and so I don't know, it was kind of hit or miss. We still have plenty for the tree, and some of, like I said, these are definitely more sturdy and could be hung compared to the, these ones literally just died, but then we had some, so hit or miss I guess but they smell amazing so even if we don't put them on the tree we can use them around the house as potpourri because they're basically made with like cinnamon and applesauce so they smell amazing see potpourri yeah so these ones held together and we hung up some of those on the tree were much better than the first bit little moon much better yeah little hearts so they smell good tree smells amazing because we have all these nice smelly things on it. Right, for the sixth, we're doing some make some snowflakes for some added decor that I think will be mostly for our hallway. All right, show me some of them that you made. I think I made like one and I was like, nope, mine's ugly. You can do it. She gets all intricate with hers. She's got this whole snowflake vision. See, look at me. Mine falls apart. Although, actually, one of them I made accidentally looked like Yoda, but I don't know where it went. Some babies. Very nice. Very pretty. And she's got, like, all those in there. Jeez. She just leaves me with all of these lights on top of me. Before in the hallway. 